you guys charged and took the lead, they made a big bucket. Was it more defensive execution or their offense? I would I would say this. I, I think you got to give them credit for the shots they made. I mean, they were moving the ball. Uh, our activity defensively was much better, obviously, in the second half. I'm proud of our guys, the way they fought back. Uh, but, you know, they they did a good job of, you know, answering our runs with, with timely baskets. Peter's battling through the back or shoulder issues right now. Is it is it hard for him to get into a flow with what's going on there with his body? I, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't, I mean, he's, he's got a lot of things going on, so I, it can't be easy, I guess. What was the biggest thing that you really emphasized to your team at half? Well, you know, it, it started with some disappointment regarding our effort level at the start of the game. Because I don't think I nor any coach ever expects perfection, especially when you're playing a team of this caliber. And Maryland's really good. Mark's a terrific coach. They run really good stuff. They're hard to guard. But I didn't think our effort at the beginning of the game matched their ability to move the ball and execute their offense. Now, as the half wore on, we got better, obviously. And so I wanted more of that than what we had at the start. You weren't happy with the officiating. Um, I wouldn't say that. Uh, uh, okay, well, it, it, it appeared that way. Uh, were you not? At the end, the coach can't speak to the officiating, but at the end of the game, it came down to a lack of call out on a uh, lack of delay game call after they were warned. That's all can't, coach can't speak to. I can't to comment about that. But as far as how I felt about the rest of the officiating, 